At its peak, 32,000 Americans work for the space shuttle program. But tonight, only 6,300 remain, and most of them will lose their jobs at the end of the Atlantis mission. Recently, we visited the Kennedy Space Center to talk to some of the unsung heroes of the program, such as the guys in the elevator shop, who have a lot of pride in their very own claim to fame. We deliver the astronauts the first 195 feet into space. 195 that's feet, right. that's you. That's us, that's right. <laughs> it's Brian Jones who gets the astronauts off the ground. He operates what may be the world's most famous elevator, delivering the crew to the shuttle hatch 20 stories up. What happens after the last shuttle goes? We've all received layoff notices for uh, July 22nd, and uh, so we're all currently looking, looking for, for jobs. jobs. Yeah. <laughs> So Jeff Cunningham, Charles Flake, and Jose Chang also work in the elevator shop for United Space Alliance, the private company that manages the shuttle program for NASA. It has been fun. The sad part is not losing my job, but the saddest part is leaving the space program. Tell me why this wasn't just an elevator repairman job to you. It's, it's an awesome experience working that close to something that takes seven people up in the space and a payload along with it and uh, just being a part of something way bigger than yourself. I wonder what it's like in the job market right now. What are you hearing? There's a lot of competition for the jobs. The jobs aren't paying nearly as well as uh, we've been accustomed to. And I, I think that's the reality that uh, fewer jobs, less money. Uh, so it's scary out there right now. Look around Brevard County, Florida, near Kennedy Space Center, and you can see just how devastating the end of the shuttle program is to the community. This bar, called Shuttles, has been a fixture for astronauts and space workers for 30 years. Now, Bill Grillo, the owner, is worried. His business is off 50%. He had 25 employees. Now he's down to eight. It's kind of getting punched in the stomach and then getting kicked after you land on the ground. Uh, it's a double whammy for us. The country's hurting with the recession. We're hurting twice as much because we get so many local layoffs. We was a part of it. Brian Jones' grandfather worked to build the shuttle launch pads. His father helped construct the shuttle assembly building. There's not an elevator operator in the world <laughs> who has a scrapbook like this. <laughs> but this third generation space worker and his wife, Missy, may have to leave Florida. She lost her job as an office manager a few months ago. Right now, we're just hoping we pick the right direction, you know. I mean, we, we have to go in, in a direction. We just hope it's the right direction, and we pray for the best. I wonder what the two of you will think as you see the last one arch up into the sky. Satisfaction that we flew the last shuttle out successfully. Sadness that it's the last shuttle. Nervous, what's happening next. But overall, I think uh, joy and uh, that we did a job well done and pride in the work that we did. Brian and his team will be there on launch day getting the astronauts off the ground. And we'll be reporting to you from the Cape tomorrow night.